security. It's what everyone wants, especially on a network. As a step toward keeping network resources safe, many administrators configure a RADIUS server. This is used to authenticate clients for network connectivity. A RADIUS server keeps your information in-house, protecting it from people outside your organization. In addition, you can have separate credentials for each user, which gives you detailed control over access. This advanced topic assumes you know how to set up a RADIUS server, as the focus today is on the Cisco business wireless side. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure a CBW access point to use RADIUS authentication for clients connecting to the web user interface. Next. I'll start by demonstrating how the process works. The CBW access point sends authentication requests to the RADIUS server when a client attempts to authenticate. The server sends an accept message back to the device if it is properly configured to have the device as a client. If not, a rejection message is sent. Even though Cisco does not support the configuration of RADIUS servers, there are many options available online. This is an example of a free RADIUS option. And here is the vendor-specific information required for an NPS server. On the CBW AP, start by switching to Expert View. Next, navigate to Management and then Admin Accounts. Scroll to Radius and then to Authentication Call Station ID Type. Select the option to be sent to the Radius server. In this example, I will choose IP address so that the AP's IP address will be sent in the access request message. For the Authentication MAC delimiter, set the option that is sent to the Radius server. If you select No delimiter, when you enter the MAC addresses on the RADIUS server, they will need to be entered without a delimiter. If you select colon, you will have to include colons in the MAC address. In this example, the RADIUS server is configured for authentication, so the accounting options are not relevant. The fallback mode can be used if you have a backup RADIUS server configured. If you select passive, it will cause the primary AP to revert to a server with lower priority without using extraneous probe messages. If you select active, it will cause the primary AP to revert to a server with lower priority. Radius probe messages will be used to proactively determine whether an inactive server is back online. I won't configure a backup Radius server, therefore I'll select off. I won't be using the Radius server for accounting, so I'll leave AP Events Accounting as disabled. Once you've selected your options, click Apply to save the settings. Next, click on Add slash Edit Radius Authentication Server. Enter 2 as the server index and leave the Network, User, Management, and State as enabled. Enable COA to enable RFC 3576 support for authentication. Then, enter the server IP address as well as the shared secret of the RADIUS server. The default port number used for communicating with the RADIUS server is port 1812, but you can edit this if needed. For this example, I'll leave it as default. The default server timeout is 5 seconds. Click Apply to save the changes. Alright, now the RADIUS server has been added to the CBWAP. Moving along, I will change the management user priority order. Currently, the AP has the local admin account set to a priority of one. This means that the AP will try to authenticate users who are logging into the web user interface by using the local database of the AP first. Then it will try the RADIUS server. However, if there's a TACAX Plus server configured, I'll try that as well. Since a RADIUS server will be used to authenticate users who are signing into the web user interface, move the RADIUS service to priority 1. Now the AP will first try to authenticate by the RADIUS server. If the user is not found in the server, it will try the local database of the AP. Since I do not have a TACAX Plus server configured, this option will not be used. Click Apply to save the changes. You're set. The CBW AP has now been configured to authenticate users who are logging into the web user interface with RADIUS authentication. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.